we are fortunate to have the Sharenu uh, administ administrative officers and some uh, opportunity, and, and I hope people who are who are members who came to uh, be with us on this wonderful occasion. So let us, um, Carol, do you want to? I'm ready to go. Okay, here we go. And Listen, and then they'll talk. Okay. Okay. Carol, now to start the to start the occasion, we're going to ask Anne Hirsch to give us background on the history and what's come before us today that led us to that beautiful piece. So, okay, thank you, Rona. Ten years ago, upon Dr. Renee Fleischer and another gentleman's suggestion, Sherry and I decided to treat ourselves to a five-day retreat at the North American Jewish Choral Festival in Karhangsen. The first minute upon our arrival, we felt that this would be an experience like no other. And we were correct. We learned, practiced, and listened to beautiful classical Jewish music. Our day would start very early with breakfast, followed by communal singing, and then continued with incredibly helpful musical workshops. Twice a day, we would be practicing with the choir we belong to. The goal of each choir was to learn and perform at the end of our five days. The accommodations left a lot to be desired, but we didn't matter. I apologize, I must have lost my Wi-Fi connection on my iPad. So anyway, when we were at this festival, we listened to such beautiful music that kept us in tears many times. And at that point, Sherry and I decided we need to make it happen close to us. We need to find a way where we can have such beautiful music with our friends in our neighborhoods. And in order for that to happen, we formed a board with members that had the perfect combination of talents. We now have a technology expert. I'm sorry, while I wasn't there, so I don't know whether you spoke about it or not, but we now have a technology expert. We have a CPA. We have a public relations expert, a music librarian, an attorney, and many other hardworking members that are willing to rise to the occasion for whatever is asked of them to do. But of course, of course, Debbie is our most important person that brings us all together and helps us with our talents to rise above and above each time each year. So thank you, Debbie. Sherry, maybe to Sherry. Okay. Hi, everybody. W wonderful to be here with you. 
Um, as Annie had started to say that the Shireen Choir of Long Island was launched in concept 10 years ago at the North American Jewish Choral Festival. At that time, um, we had agreed after having a fabulous experience that we were going to try to bring this to our own community. Um, our dream became a real reality when Debbie Tartell agreed to come on board as our choral director. At that time, we didn't appreciate what a gem we had enlisted, though we knew that she had the expertise and the experience that we were looking for. It was Debbie's vision to launch a community-based choir, not a synagogue-based choir, as this would ultimately help us achieve our vision of inclusion, of participation of all that were interested and diversify our base. And to that end, we, we do in fact have non-Jewish singers in our choir as well. To our knowledge, there was no existing community Jewish choir in the area that had both male and female participants. It was and still is our mission to bring together adult voices to celebrate the rich diversity of Jewish music and culture. It is our belief that with reaching out to our local community, we could reach the interdenominational elements of Jewish practice, which include, of course, Reform, Conservative, and Orthodox Judaism, as well as our Christian neighbors in community-wide song, where we were hoping to break down the barriers and forge an understanding between and amongst our groups through song and music. We really have to thank Temple Israel as well for allowing us to conduct our weekly rehearsals in that space. In addition, in addition to our Great Neck members, we have members that come as far away as New York City, Plainview, East Meadow, Syosset, Juan Park, uh, Jamaica, and as near as Port Washington, Douglaston, and Little Neck. We have clergy and teachers, lawyers and judges and doctors, you name it, all are part of our group, many professionals that are part of the singing group. And our ranges in age are from age 30-ish to 90-ish and above. Okay. Uh, to date, we have sung in a number of ecumenical venues, uh, including the county legislature to celebrate Israel Independence Day, Martin Luther King celebrations at the AME Zion Church in, in Great Neck, and Little Neck Jewish Center. Other engagements include uh, Temple Israel Kabbalah Shabbat service, with renowned cantor Benji L Ellen Schiller, and on multiple occasions with for Yom HaShoah and Israel and Independence Day celebrations at Temple Israel with, with, uh, at the invitation of Cantor Frieder. We also uh, performed at a Hatzilo fundraiser at Temple Israel uh, two years ago, I guess it was at that time. And we've taken our talents to the Parker Jewish Geriatric Center and to Sterling Glen at Glen Cove. We did plan, were it not for COVID, to uh, also be at the Atria in Great Neck, but had to um, uh, postpone that because of the pandemic. Were it not for COVID, we were slated to sing uh, the national anthem at City Field this oh, summer for Celebrate Israel Day. And we're hoping that we will be invited back in the future. Now, I'd like to turn over the presentation to uh, Debbie Tartell, our incredible director, who will address how we have dealt with the choral practice during this year of COVID. Debbie? Give me one second. I'm looking for Debbie. If to unmute. Okay, I'm unmuted. Um, Thank you, Sherry. Um, thank you, Rona, so much for- Okay, Debbie, you could start. Un unmute yourself. I'm unmuted. Yeah? Okay. Um, so first of all- Can you hear I, me? I can hear, yep. Okay. okay. Where are you, Debbie? Um, uh, I, I see myself. Um, can you see me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you and Anybody I'm having trouble hearing. 
No, I, um, can... I can hear, but not see her. I see Sherry. Sherry, speak, because I can't hear you. I'm here, and, and I, I, I can, can hear you. Right. The can... person who's moderating this can't use, does not need a computer at all. It's always a decision. Are you sure you're on mute? Yeah. Well, sure. You need this chair? It no. looks like Sherry is spotlighted, and you I'm need to spotlight here. Debbie. One second. You find her in the participant okay. list. No, I'm on the participant list, no, um, no. but I guess I'm not spotlighted. Sorry for the technical issue, but um, let's see. We understand very much. <laughs> Is this a we can we can see. There you go. Okay. Are you, okay. Are you, are you okay. speaking, Debbie? Yes. I can can't hear you. Close can you hear me? Can anybody hear her? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Everybody can hear her. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go okay. ahead. So it's I uh, of course am um, very grateful to you, Rona. Thank you so much for inviting us. Um, and um, I want to just mention um, before I talk about how we've dealt with COVID and our plans for the future, um, I do want to mention that. Um, at the end of each year. And for us, we meet during the academic year. Um, we hold a year end concert and we've held it at um, North High School Auditorium and we've had 400 people in attendance. So that's the culmination of the year end after all of these wonderful activities that we've done in other places that we've performed. So, um, Shortly after January, the last live performance, um, there the COVID back, uh, the COVID uh, virus was spreading, and shortly before Purim, we decided that it was not longer safe to meet inside a rehearsal room, um, and we decided to go on to Zoom for rehearsals, and. Uh, it's a very different experience, of course, because as you can hear in your own Zoom, if more than one mic is unmuted, that you don't really hear anything. You just hear uh, a lot of noises. So uh, we, but yet we decided to, to do this activity and we felt that we wanted to keep our group together. At this point, I'm gonna call us a choir family um, we've gotten very close and we've grown together. You know, we started from nothing. We are into, we got into a third year and this is a way to keep our music going, to help people in their isolation during COVID, which was a, a very important reason why I wanted to keep the activities going of our choir. Um, you have to remember in the very beginning, there weren't so many options. You know, now we have Zoom classes and activities and lectures and book talks like this one. Um, but um, it was very important to keep us together. So every week we had a rehearsal um, and the rehearsal means that I am unmuted and all of the members are muted and I would set up a schedule and let's say we'd all meet together, do our warm ups, and then for 20 minutes, I'd meet the sopranos, and then 25 minutes, the altos, and then the tenors and the basses. And we kept rehearsing our current repertoire. And um, I would go over the parts, and uh, I, I really did not get feedback at the moment from the members because remember they halt, had to be muted, but I taught and I, I went through every single song and I'd see faces moving, people smiling and hopefully singing right notes, the correct notes. Um, one of our rehearsals fell on Hanukkah and at the end of that uh, rehearsal, we did a candle lighting together and sang Hanukkah songs. Um, and uh, we continued um, to have some social events as well. Um, one of the wonderful things we had, um, Mark Creditor, Elise's brother, gave three lectures on 
um, Jewish composers, Irving Berlin, uh, George Gershwin. He did a, a wonderful talk on the Jews and Frank Sinatra. And um, he also did a great talk on Jews and Christmas, meaning that um, many of the popular Christmas tunes were, in co of course, written by Jewish composers, some you would not even have known because they had to change their name. Um, if we don't get back to Annie, I do want to mention that eventually I attended the North America Jewish Choral Festival. And um, my mother, who is a choral singer, and her husband, um, Paul, my mom, Ada Rosen and Paul, they had been attending this for many years, 20 years or so. And my mother kept urging me to attend. Um, but, you know, I was always busy with the children and just really just couldn't leave for five days. But eventually I did get up there. And also, as Annie and Sherry were, and some of our other members who had attended on and off, I was smitten with the music, with the experiences of learning new Jewish choral music. Um, my background was initially public school teaching. I was a high school choir director. And although I knew many tunes from Temple or being an active US wire, um, this opened up a world of incredible music to me. Beautiful music from many decades, living composers, past composers. And um, I, I also, like I said, if we don't get back to Annie, um, we were up there together and sitting ar around one evening, um, relaxing after the night's activities. And, you know, we said, wow, we really, we have a lot of singers and Jewish singers in Great Neck and beyond in our area. Why can't we do this in our area? And I hope we get back to Annie because the process of putting this together, I would love for her to tell it because it included the hard work of many women, um, uh, which became our founding board and um, they deserve so many accolades as well. So um, going on, um, you know, we reached a certain point where we were just singing the old tunes, you know, that we were rehearsing. We hadn't performed them yet in concert. And um, I, I felt we needed something new and exciting, some kind of project that we could all get involved in together, something that had a beginning and an end and a performance, because that's what choral singing is. It is a performing art. So I researched and I found a beautiful song called Heal Us Now. And we decided as a board, we could do one of those virtual choir songs that you, know, you see on the internet every now and then. <clears throat> and why couldn't we do this? So, um, we put together this, we're calling it a project, and um, this song, Heal Us Now, it's in Hebrew and English, and it takes a uh, text from uh, liturgy from the Bible and from our prayer books, and it really says, heal us, dear, you know, asking God to heal us our mind, our body, our spirit, our people, our country, our land. And we just felt it was the most appropriate song for the times we were living in. Um, it is a wonderful tune. It is beautiful. It's written as a choral piece. It's written fantastic. Uh, it is a fantastic choral piece. And um, so now we decided to start the process. So what that has been, we're back into the, we've been back into the rehearsals um, over the last few months. Again, I'm teaching, I, I was teaching all the parts, groups coming on at designated times. And, you know, I go over the notes and the rhythms. And eventually, um, everyone after a few months sent me a rough draft of their performance. Now, you have to appreciate what my choir members are doing now. They are used to having people on the right, people on the left, 
you forget a note, you forget an, in an entrance, there's someone there on your right or your left, or maybe they forgot, or they're having a little trouble, and you know that particular measure of music. So all of the sudden, there is a great accountability for each member to learn and record alone in their house. Okay, so what they had to do, and there's, we're in this stage now, um, they have to record a, an audio and a video of themselves and upload it and send it to us. Um, and from that point, we did hire a professional production company to put these together because of the visuals and the audio, it's very complex. Now at this point, I have to mention that there's someone in our choir who has taken over really from the beginning, all of the technical problems and issues that, involve, that are involved from day one in this choir. And that is um, Toby Nemiroff. And um, I do wanna thank her, she's a Temple member and she has been, I dub her Techie Toby because um, that's her expertise and she's helped our members. I can help them with the notes and the rhythms and learning the tune of course, and she's done a great job helping them with the technology. So I feel that this has been a wonderful learning process for my members um, because they had to really learn and study on their own. And I really believe that each one of them has grown as a musician in doing this. Um, and I am excited to get back into a live practice room because I just think this, having gone through this process, um, is going to really elevate us as a choir and as individual musicians. Um, I'm the next, there's one week left. All the choir members will submit their final versions of their audio and video. The turnaround time from the production company will be a few weeks. And then we will have our virtual choir um, video to share. And I hope we'll get to share it with all of you uh, at some point. Um, we're very excited about it. Um, so going on, um, after, after um, what, what is our future after COVID? Um, what are we going to do when we can get back into the practice room? Um, we all want to get back together, of course. Um, we can't wait for the day where we're in a room. Remember, when you're on the Zoom, you don't hear all of the four parts. You never hear that. You don't feel the vibration. You don't feel the emotion. And we are really excited. Um, we're, we're being hopeful that um, Dr. Fauci has said choral music is coming back in the fall. And um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed um, for that. Um, we hopefully will continue to do a lot of outreach into our community and perform and give back. Um, that's a very big part of what we do. We hope to reach out to um, many other communities to uh, recruit new members. Um, we, I, I really hope um, that we'll be able to collaborate with Cantor Shamash. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, he has a beautiful voice and a great enthusiasm. And as a colleague, I, I really look forward to that um, efforts of collaboration with him. Um, so, uh, as I said, we, we hope to recruit. And so if there's anybody out there, um, I want to, of course, increase in quantity um, and always in quality. And I do believe that every time our choir has performed, they have performed at a higher and higher level music, as a musician musically. So um, at some point, you know, take a, um, I guess we advertised in the Temple Voice when we do auditions, think about uh, possibly auditioning uh, for our choir. And um, that's basically it for, for, uh, for my part. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know if there's questions and answers. Okay, I, you have yeah. one question, Ada. 
Ada yeah. raised her hand. Ada, are you there? Ada? She's here. She raised her hand. I don't know. I see her picture. Okay. Well, I don't, okay. I think she maybe just waved to me because um, okay. that, that is my mother. Um, oh, so, yeah, my, mom. She, my mother, she's tuning in from, uh, um, from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And um, I do have to mention, oh, don't get mad at me, mother, but she is well into her 90s still singing choral music. She was just with us two years ago when we had our live choral festival. And I had a fortunate, uh, I was very fortunate to stand next to her and sing in a choir with her. Um, so for all you people out there that wanna know all the benefits of singing choral music, um, I do believe it keeps you young. So um, <laughs> uh, reading and learning that music so there's no no age limit, as Sherry said. And thank you, Mom, for <coughs> encouraging me to attend that choral music festival. Thank you so much, Debbie. Maybe we can give Annie an, a, a, another try with uh, Ruthie. Unmute yourself, Ruthie. Yeah, I did. Okay. Go I ahead. just I just want to second everything that everybody has said, and add if you all of you who know me know that music is breathing. And to me, this is a special, special gift after I have finished all my years of teaching and what was going to be my next step. I've never really done this before myself. I have never been hiding in the alto section, depending <laughs> on everybody else. Uh, and I also got a chance, thanks to Debbie's kindness, to be one of the soloists in this wonderful, wonderful song that we are putting together and I actually did my recordings the night before and the night uh, after uh, of the inauguration. I was so inspired by the inauguration that just to do it then with such, uh, such emotion is an experience that it's unique. It's very, very special. And I am so grateful to all of you, Debbie and the whole board to have done this for our community it, it's, it's really beyond beyond any gratitude I can continue to express. So thank you. Okay, thank you, Ruthie. Are we I think to Linda, Amy now? Did, Linda, did you want to speak? Okay, Carol, can you find Linda? Linda Abrams. Can you oh, hear me now? She told me she wanted to. All right, is Linda here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Go ahead, speak. Go ahead and speak. Okay, I can speak. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to thank all the people on the board who really made me feel so totally welcome. And I feel like I developed another family. And uh, I've had a, a, a rough year, and it's been absolutely the most wonderful experience especially this, this past year. And um, I just, uh, I'm so happy to have found this group. Actually, I met, I, I found this group in Morning Minion. There was Annie and Elisa and, um, and Sherry, uh, um, Cheryl. And every day they said, you gotta, you gotta join the choir. You gotta join the choir. So one day I said, okay, I'll join the choir. And I'm so glad I did. So thank you everybody for be, being so warm and welcoming. Okay, thank you, Linda. Uh, I can't, let's see, I don't have the gallery, but is there anyone else who is making, Laura. wants to say something? Can Laura talk? Okay, Laura. Okay, I wanna share all those sentiments, plus a special thank you to the board, but especially to Debbie for sharing your musicality, which is extremely, so, so inspiring your patience with everybody and every group as we go along um, and for forming such a, such a sense of community and permitting us to help and reach out to other people in the greater community also, which I think is a really beautiful endeavor. So lots of strength and I hope we'll be together again soon. Okay, so does everybody, I can am sure. So is it, Ali, all right, so Elise, I did, Amy wanted to speak 
and then we'll go to, then Elise will have something to say. So um, Amy David, who is the treasurer, <laughs> I am sure has a pep talk for us all. So could we just, but let's listen and appreciate. Go ahead, Amy. <laughs> I was one of those people that Sherry and Annie up at the festival were talking about, talking to uh, about creating a choir and they were saying, well, how would we do that? And of course we needed a leader and that's our fearless leader, Debbie. And I said, well, you have to form an organization. And so um, we, under my direction, came up with Shirenu Choir of Long Island, Inc. We are a 501c3 organization, which means that donations to us are tax deductible. I have to just put in that plug for us. And we are a not-for-profit um, organization. So if you wanted to see Shirenu um, excerpts or information or donate in somebody's honor or whatever you would like to do. We have a website, Shirenu Choir of Long Island, of Shirenu Choir L-I dot org, O-R-G. So that's my pitch. <laughs> it was the best thing that happened to me in a very long time was um, coming to the festival at Debbie's urging. Um, and then getting to know everybody and we really are like a family. It's beautiful. It's meant a huge amount to me as well. Thank you, Amy, that's wonderful. It seems to be a thread running through the entire uh, community and uh, anyone really, uh, I, um, anyone who knows me knows that they ask me not even to hum when I'm in a group, but um, I appreciate music so that, uh, and I'm in always in awe and amazement. And uh, to see all of these flowers of this, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I thank you all. And uh, let us finish up before we get a, a, a few surprises at the end. Elise Creditor. Uh, first, um, one second. Uh, Debbie, go ahead. You know what? I, I just, I, I want to just mention, and I know what you're surprised you're going to be playing. I, I'm going to give it away. You're going to play a little montage, but... Um, I just want to let you know that uh, always a great uh, musical experience is a collaboration of maybe one or more musicians. And I just want to let you know that when you hear any piano um, oh, yes. uh, accompaniment, um, our first uh, two seasons, our accompanist that you're hearing is Gail Ashkenazi. Um, she's a, a Great Neck resident. And our third year um, has been a pianist who you, you've yet to, uh, you won't get to hear. Uh, you will, God willing, we'll have a big performance again, Olga Gurevich. And um, I also just want to mention the composer of Heal Us Now, um, because it is a very special song, the one we're working on, and, and uh, that's Cantor Leon Shear. So I just wanted to share the accolades of my colleagues in the music world. Thank you. Okay, that'd be good. Okay, Elise, could we hear from you? Okay, thank you. Uh, I mean, Shirenu is really just a love fest. Everybody is so happy when we come together on Thursday nights. I know when I joined, it reminded me of how much I love singing, which I hadn't done for many, 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 many years since I was in high school. Uh, and we thank you, Rona, for bringing us together today and giving us this opportunity to share all about Shirenu with your group. And we would like to make a little donation to the Temple Israel Library. I realize it's backwards. Uh, Jewish no, it's music, <laughs> it's historical development. And we will be putting a beautiful book plate in it, which will read, in honor of Rona Lupkin for all her years of keeping Temple Israel members well read from Shirenu Choir of Long Island, January, 2021. So we just want to leave our little mark in the library. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, awesome. <laughs> that's beautiful. And I only hope for the day when I can share it all with you personally. But, right. I, but let me just lead into the fact that if you have a book you're interested in, I, I have a doorman. I will, I will have any book from our library available to you at any time, I'm Rona Lupkin at Gmail. 
So since we're giving uh, giving out um, uh, our uh, our claim to fame, I I would be happy to get a book for you. So thank you very much, and thank you, Elise. And uh, I think we are going to have. Is there any question? There is. There will watch for the auditions, but there will be. Uh, I hope I'm going to sit on Deborah to make sure that when a video is finished, <laughs> that we're one of the first to show it. To oh, <laughs> thank we you. We really very much wanted to be part of it because so thank you very much. And uh, I think we're going to leave it uh, to Carol to end the program for us. Is that correct, Carol? Yeah, just give me one second. Okay, anybody wants to tap dance? Oh, uh, we are. We want to thank you, and uh, I know probably the reception isn't so certainly what you would have if we still went to the high school. Having not missed any one of the year's high school performances, I want to tell you, uh, it brought tears to my eyes, and I can't believe that anybody would anything but enjoy it. Here we so go. Here we have a sample. Yeah.
השטטל איז אמריקה, המחייך לבן, אס רוטר פירד ישכין אבן, זולן עזי לבן, נלכו מספיק סימנים של גוד, דרפי ניר הפסורת, הקובר נטר דרפני wanted to say it was it was a, a a highlight and we are so pleased that we have uh, really such talent such enthusiasm such passion and uh, I think we all are participants either as participants ah. singing or participants enjoying so let us we I hope for many many years and I hope very soon that we can do it again. I'd like to hug you all and thank you for the special uh, special book. Thank you, Elise. Oh, uh, so sorry. And uh, I hope you can come and get it at the library to peruse there at the very, certainly by the fall. Let's, let's just say, not next year in Jerusalem, but certainly at, at maybe at the high school. So that, <laughs> oh, man. so then let us, uh, please come next week. I, I promise you, I, I'll show off my, the, the new, um, the new book plate that was made and uh anybody please if you have any kind of book plates from your family your friends or anyway please bring them with you next week when you come so long rona wait before everybody leaves rona lovkins toby katz call yes. hakavod you did it again oh. <laughs> you did it again it was terrific and to the sharena choir and toby nemro okay Great. Okay. Everybody. Bye-bye.